Several recent indictments prove the city of Honolulu is in the sights of federal investigators. Corruption cases across departments have many asking what can be done to stop the wrongdoing earlier. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. From bolstering watchdog agency resources and independence to toughening penalties, many ideas are in the works to crack down on people who try to cheat on the public dime. The parade of federal cases involving public officials hit Honolulu twice again just this week. Investigations of public corruption from the prosecutor's office to the police department, from coronavirus money impropriety to charges of bribery at DPP, not to mention what, if anything, will come of target letters to a former prosecutor and corporation counsel and the federal subpoenas slapped on heart in recent years. Violent crimes are what we had problems with earlier, but now, now it's basically public corruption and it's ongoing, and I don't ever recall it being uh, this constant and unending. That's Honolulu's former prosecutor and former mayor, Peter Carlisle. He later represented former ethics director Chuck Toto when Toto resigned under pressure after taking on the Kealohas and other high-powered city folks. You've got a good police chief. You've got uh, a bunch of people who are doing ethics work. And if they're not getting the appropriate mechanisms to be able to use those things, then we're going to, then we're going to have a problem constantly. City Council Chairman Tommy Waters says lawmakers are trying to direct more resources to the watchdogs, like the County Ethics Commission, which is hiring. I also would love to see a whistleblower a hotline within the Ethics Commission. I believe the city currently has that, but it's within the Department of Budget and Fiscal Services. Meanwhile, the State Ethics Commission gets more than 100 complaints a year on its anti-fraud hotline. We'll get an inquiry, and it might be about city officials. It could be about federal officials. We'll pass it along to the relevant authorities. Groundwork laid by ethics staff after tips from co-workers or citizens who saw something not quite right have helped lead to federal charges. I know sometimes people think, oh, this is just the way it's always been, and nothing's ever going to change. And sometimes people, people feel frustrated. But honestly, if you think that there is something wrong, if you think that a government official has done something that they shouldn't or ask for a favor that they shouldn't, please contact uh, you know, us, the City Ethics Commission, uh, the Attorney General's office. Honolulu prosecutor Steve Alm tells me his office is ready to prosecute corruption. And if Honolulu residents are aware of corruption in our public institutions, we invite them to contact us. There are also loopholes for hiring. Hanalei Ipoalani got hired on for another city job after he was federally charged, but before his guilty plea. And I'm so ashamed to, to report to you that the, the council actually hired him. We hired him. He was terminated a couple weeks later when the council found out about the charges. I re-looked at the application. It, it does require applicants to put down if they've been convicted of a crime. However, it specifically excludes arrests or investigations. So I'd like to see it. Maybe we can change that application process to include that. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi tells me the public has a right to expect ethical behavior from city employees, and his administration is committed to honesty, transparency, and accountability. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.